and you know ash your lips up in this place you would not take my review seriously <laughs> okay hey boos thank you for coming back my name is jennifer also known as jen jen is all right hopefully you know me hopefully you're subscribed um but i am so excited to bring you this review today i'm literally fresh out of the shower i am wearing a robe and my hair is dripping i'm so sorry if that grosses you out to see dripping hair while i'm talking to you hopefully you still take me seriously but i'm super excited to share this review with you it's a black owned brand um goes by the name of thank god i'm natural but you know that because you clicked on the video already tgin i've heard some people refer to it as tgin which i thought was pretty cool but tgin so i snagged the shampoo and the conditioner duo directly from their website during black friday they had a deal going on well actually i don't know if it's a deal because i just checked today and it was 19.99 i think that's the price that i paid but yeah so they did have some black friday sales going on um i snagged the duo and then the brand sent me over a few other samples as well to try out i'll get into those possibly in another video but i want to share this dynamic duo with you because i'm thoroughly thoroughly impressed definitely feel as though I had a staple from the moment I applied this shampoo to my head I wanted to <sighs> you guys don't understand I'm having such weird luck these days with finding stellar shampoos and that is so rare like who falls in love with a shampoo over a conditioner what curly girl does that but I am having such great luck with shampoos that blow me out of the water I, I mean just completely impressed me and then the conditioner is subpar I did not run into this with this with this line or with these two products and that alone had me sold I immediately I mean this is gonna sound crazy as soon as I apply this to my hair washed my hair I immediately wanted to update my website and be like yes new staples yes but, um, so the shampoo um, it's the moisture rich sulfate free shampoo now you guys please do not drag me because both of these products contain ingredients that I am known for hating so this has coconut oil in it um, I believe it has shea butter too or maybe it's just the conditioner but it has coconut oil it also has amla or amla oil um, it says that it's a gentle moisturizing shampoo for all hair types. I definitely noticed that it was gentle. The slip is ah, beautiful. It smells citrusy, kind of like a lemon, and it has a beautiful color as well. I mean, you could just look at it and see how fluid it is. It's silky. It's not heavy. Um, a lot of shampoos, especially natural shampoos, they're like that creamy or that pearly color. Um but this is just beautiful i mean you guys know i'm a nerd when it comes to aesthetics and design and look and this is so sleek it's so cool and modern i love print like this if you'll notice you'll look at some of my um thumbnails i have similar text i love i just love everything about these bottles they just look so dope in my shower they're just so beautiful but anyways that's 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 my nerdy spiel um so it's the Moisture Rich Sulfate Free Shampoo. I love it, guys. I can't say enough great things about this shampoo. Literally liquid gold. And it is a golden color. Literally liquid gold. I immediately wanted to buy another bottle just so I knew that when I was running low on this, I had more coming because that's how good it was. So I'm not going to do that whole thing showing you guys how I wash my hair. I feel like... Who needs a video on somebody washing their hair um but let's see jen don't make a mess jen don't make a mess <laughs> this is the consistency so it's not super thick hopefully you saw that but it's beautiful yeah it's so light it may be hard to catch up on camera but oh, it is so beautiful and it smells great definitely you guys know how I feel about my Design Essentials shampoo, how that's such a great shampoo. It's a pearly color. It smells great. It's fluid the consistency. I would say this rivals that easily, if not tops that. Um, so this is definitely one of my favorite two shampoos to date since I have began my natural hair journey. 
since I have in the history of me just ever washing my hair and that is saying a lot this is probably one of my favorites I absolutely love it nailed it the TGIN conditioner also trip moisture replenishing conditioner I'm not sure I don't think they have different lines I just think that that is something that they wanted to be consistent with with the names so the shampoo and the conditioner have the same name now this one contains shea butter and argan oil but let me tell you I purposely did not apply any product to my hair so my hair is naked fresh out of the shower um, no product unbelievably soft it's unbelievably soft it has movement of course I'm gonna apply a leave-in and my styler but I mean it has definition the shine is out of this world I kid you not I am so impressed with this conditioner um, now the only con that I have in regards to this conditioner as I'm dripping down the side of my face the only con that I have in, in regards to this conditioner is the fact that it comes in a bottle like this without a pump well I guess that would be hard because it is pretty thick it doesn't move so it it may be hard to get out with a pump but I don't feel as though this is the proper container for the consistency of this conditioner I'm gonna show you it's very hard to get the product out um, originally when I took a picture of this it was bent just because it's like I have to squeeze it just to get the product out I have to you know shake tap the bottle squeeze it just to get the conditioner out it's super thick it doesn't go anywhere now you would think that with it being that hard to get out of the bottle that it's super thick but it's so deceiving because once you get it dripping all over the place once you get it in the palm of your hands you know to apply to your hair once you apply it to your hair it's so creamy it's not super thick at all I mean I'd say on a scale of 1 to 10 for consistency or for slip one being cement and 10 being Aussie moist I would definitely say it is about a nine and that's saying a lot I'm not sure if you have used Aussie moist hopefully that is a skill that you can kind of relate to but Aussie moist is one of the most beautiful uh, I don't want to say softest it has great slip in a conditioner it's so it's creamy and I mean you apply it to your hair and it parts your curls like the Red Sea it's like oh, like it's just it's beautiful it's so easy to detangle you apply it to your hair and it's just like yes come to me so <laughs> this is a great contender for that conditioner um but like I said it's it's a little thicker but it's still the consistency is not super thick like a shea moisture conditioner where you feel like and I, I'm so sorry I hate bringing up brands because I don't want to like drag anyone or I don't want to mention other brands in these product reviews but it's just so hard for me to compare it to things without referencing another product so no shade is shea moisture they have great leave-ins you guys know I love my shea moisture um, not leave-ins I, I love my Shea Moisture um, deep conditioning treatments and my masks, but they are known for being very thick. So it's not that thick in texture or consistency, um, but it's not watery, it's not runny, it's, it's the perfect consistency. I absolutely love it, like it's just perfect. Um, I apply it to my hair. Now I will tell you, initially I wasn't crazy about it after coming from this great shampoo where I'm like oh yes give it to me and then I apply the conditioner and I'm like okay I'm gonna have to work to get this in I'm gonna have to work to detangle my hair you know I've been so spoiled with with conditioners and and I know part of the reason why Aussie Moist is so awesome in consistency and slip is because it does contain a silicone I get that but I, I've just been so spoiled in comparing every conditioner that I use to that one and that's completely my fault because this is a natural product so it's not going to have the same texture consistency whatever um, but I mean initially I was taken aback but once I figured out, okay, I can't just apply this to my hair and kind of expect for it to do the work. I have to put some work in, you know, I have to kind of take my time and work it through. Once I changed the way that I applied it to my hair, and I feel like I said that about the Design Essentials Conditioner too. But once I just kind of trained myself, then it was a game changer for me. So initially, I, I, I don't put it on my hair 
and it just glides through right away. Um, so I'll put it in my hair, you know, I'll detangle with my fingers, I'll finger detangle in sections. The second time, that's when my fingers can glide through. I'm able to detangle with breeze, you know, without a problem. Um, and it's great for me. So like I said, that's why I would give it such a high rating on the slip and consistency scale, just because it's not fluid to where you're gonna pour it over your hair and it's silk and it's just gonna part your curls right away, but it is gonna get the job done. I mean, if, if not anything else, I am absolutely in love with this conditioner because of the way that it leaves my hair feeling so soft and so shiny. And I mean, like I said, I have no product in my hair and I'm just so impressed. What, I'm sorry, did you say something? You know, I swear I do all the cheesy poses. I hate doing these poses, guys. It's so awkward. Oh my god. Don't look at me. Look at me. Don't look at me. Look at me. <laughs> this is just so you can see my curls. That's all. That's all, guys. No product, and I'm impressed with the conditioner. Just, I didn't even co wash. I just applied it to my hair for a boost of moisture, and I'm so impressed. I mean, yes. Curls popping. Nothing in my hair yet. Super soft. Cotton candy. Yes cotton head and ninny muggins that's elf because i quote movies <laughs> both of these the shampoo and the conditioner knocked it out of the park for me so in love with these two i'm so in love with these two i highly recommend them this is not a sponsored video. I purchased these with my own money. And even with me saying that, even if I was sent a product or a video was sponsored, I'm gonna keep it real regardless because my loyalty is to my fan base or the people that reach out to me saying, I like what you have to say about this. What do you think about that? You know, you guys are tuning into me to hear my opinion, to hear my experiences. I'm gonna keep it real. So that's my, my spiel about that. But I love the two. I definitely recommend that you try them and if you have tried them and you have not put me onto them we gotta talk because why am I just now all right I'm crazy that's all do something for yourself today guys remember to take the time out to take care of yourself reflect spend some time with yourself spend some time with your thoughts spend some time with your goals and I believe in you guys have a blessed day and I love you Bye. Love it, baby, love it, baby, love it.